The vision for PyTorch was always that it was diverse from the beginning. Folks that were contributing from Twitter, from NVIDIA, obviously from Facebook. It wasn't just kind of all our core team owning it. We had a team that was really excited about building community and moving fast. Meta is one of the hyperscalers. You are running very challenging workloads. No one else is running at that large a scale. Solving those problems is extremely interesting. <laughs> I don't think there's any better place to do it, to be honest. Every layer of the stack, we think about it being open and collaborative, whether it's trying to figure out what PyTorch 3.0 looks like or the hardware, even at the compiler stage now, working with OpenAI on the Triton project or the model with Llama, every step of the way, how do we give someone agency to build with our technology? Having something open source is the best disinfectant for the kinds of biased and behaviors that models might exhibit. Scale is only increasing, whether that's pre-training of a model or deployment or using RL at inference time or how the models actually use environments and coding agents or browsers. I'm excited that PyTorch is going to power all of that. It's not something that I think Meta can do alone, whether it's folks in academia or nonprofits or industry. This is another way that really plays to our strengths on being open, and that's very natural for us as Meta. If open source is dear to your heart, then Meta is the best place to work.